to learn about cardinal, ordinal, and nominal numbers. In math, cardinal means the number of elements in the given data. It answers the question, how many? Let's look at an example. Let's say we have a poison sumac leaf. This leaf has nine leaflets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here, nine is the cardinal, cardinal number because it answers the question, how many leaflets are on this one poison sumac leaf? The answer is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In math, ordinal means the certain position in a number series. An ordinal number tells the position of something in the given data or list. So, let's look at an example. Let's say we have three kids. something. Let's look at a few examples. Let's say the zip code for a certain area is 39401. Here 39401 is a nominal number. It is identify the certain place. Now, let's say there's a student in an elementary school. His number is number 13. Here, 13 is the nominal number. It is used to, it is used as a name for the student. Now let's look at an example. But this example has answers that are all cardinal, ordinal, and nominal numbers. Let's say we have three race cars.
question. This question is, how many cars are on the racetrack? One, two, three. Three is a cardinal number. It answers the question, how many cars are on the racetrack? Now, let's answer an ordinal question. What is the place of the car that is car 13? The place for car 13 is first place. And now, let's answer our nominal question. What is the number of the car that is in second place? The number of the car that is in second place, which is over here, is 47. of ordinal, you say O for ordinal and O for order. And to remember the definition of nominal, you say N for nominal and N for name. Because nominal represents a name. Today we learned about cardinal, ordinal, and nominal numbers. Thank you for watching this video.